Hello my friends, this is Wayne here once again for the Let's Play Kit Gaming Channel, I'm bringing you Dark Souls 2, episode number 17. And yes, I am still fresh on a, not only a coffee high, but the fact that we just defeated a boss in the third an attempt, we defeated the Skeleton Lords and I'm still in awe that I actually managed to do that. And I guess it just goes to show that the accomplishment factor of Dark Souls 2 is still intact as it has been for the entire series. It really helps you, it really makes you feel awesome about yourself when you manage to defeat a boss, especially in the third attempt. I know you guys, uh, probably a lot of you guys have managed to do it in the first attempt, but I'm not exactly the most orthodox Dark Souls player. I have completed Dark Souls 1 and 2, uh, sorry, Dark Souls 1 and Demon Souls uh, many, many times, but this is a blind let's play. I have never played this before in my life. This is only the third recording session and, at the same time, the third play session. So, everything you guys see as it happens is the first experience of it for me as well. And I know a lot of you guys requested that this is the way that I play uh, Dark Souls 2 after watching my Dark Souls 1 Let's Play. So yes, that's exactly what we're doing, and I'm having a buggy. And what I'm going to do, folks, is I've got 2,199 souls. Uh, I know that I'm probably going to die again, so I'm just going to take a preemptive strike, if this bitch lets me, and buy a shit ton of... In fact, I could go for another human effigy. Yeah, I'm going to buy an extra effigy, and then uh, two life gems to finish off our souls. I'm not going to bother becoming a human again just yet because I have no idea what awaits us in uh, beyond the Undead Lockaway, past the Grave of the Skeleton Lords. So yes, we are going to make some progress now, hopefully. <laughs> I've uh, That's just reminded me, actually. I've just strengthened uh, at the bonfire uh, the Estus Flasks using that dust thing. So now our Estus Flasks should be, yep, yeah, Estus Flasks plus one. Lovely stuff. So I've got 25 life gems in the event of disaster. What was that? What did that say? Key, therefore try behind. I've already done that now. Okay, so we're going to head back to uh, the former fog door. And make our way, hopefully, past the where the skeleton lords were. These enemies still spawn even though the lords are dead. So that's fine. Uh, we'll just uh, deal with these as and when possible. Uh, which means the thieves are going to be respawned as well, but... I, I know from a, a little bit of soul farming that if you go- Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh god. Oh god. It begins. It begins! I didn't even rest that out of the bonfire, did I? I've got to teleport back. It begins. Well, I'm angry again. Goodbye, skeleton high. Hello, coffee. Oh, you beautiful bitch. Okay, so we're back here again. And I died. In the, in the most feeble way possible. I couldn't have died in a glamorous way. Such as like, the skeleton lords are back with a vengeance three times as more powerful. Nope. I swing the wrong way and fall off an edge. Uh, the ledge. The ledge of an edge. An edge of a ledge. Fuck you! Uh, what I was about to say is, uh, if you guys remember from a little bit of soul farming I did, these enemies actually... Uh, stop respawning after a while. At least the giants did in the uh, Hyde's Terror of Flame. I was farming those guys because they give you 400 souls per when I was uh, attempting to equip uh, the Great Sub for the first time. And they actually stopped respawning uh, after. I don't know, I didn't count to be honest, I didn't expect it. They give you 400 souls per kill, but eventually as I kept respawning back at the bonfire, they just stopped respawning. They just stopped appearing altogether. And I have no idea why or how that happened, whether it was a glitch or whether it was a new feature implementation in the game to stop us from soul farming. If so, that is brutally mean, but I suppose it's a good trick, a good tactic to make sure that the game continues to be hard because with Dark Souls and Demon Souls, you could just farm a lot of souls, put a lot of time into leveling up, and then you would never ever struggle in the game. And I, that's what a lot of people did. It's what I did a, a few times on a few playthroughs when I was just playing for leisure rather than uh, the experience as in a New Game Plus One and such. Look at this, this is creepy as hell. I'm obviously still taking the time to admire the scenery because 
like I said, this is the first time I'm playing through this particular area of the game. Through any area of the game that you ex you see on camera is the first time I'm here. And I always stop to take in the scenery, the sights of any Souls game that I play, any Kingsfield game that I play, any From Software game that I play. Illusionary wall ahead. Bullshit. Where is the illusionary wall then? I see no illusionary wall. Unless I can toggle. I can't toggle. Right, so how do I get into this illusionary wall? Uh, right, maybe. I rated it. What, where the fuck do I, am I meant to get in there if I can't toggle to get into an illusionary wall? Unless there isn't one. Liar ahead. Ah! Yep. Okay. Good old Soapstone messaging services. Liar ahead. So apparently someone else has written it here as well. By the looks of things. So look at this. We've got... This is clearly that Colosseum type area. We've just defeated the, the three skeleton lords here. And the tiny offspring that spawn from their corpses. Beautiful stuff. But yes, the scenery in this is just glorious. It's brutal. And skeletons scare the shit out of me anyway. Oh, look at that creepy bastard. He's like, hey, bros. You want some uh, whiskey or uh, some tequila? I can do what you want. You know what I'm saying? No? You just uh, leave two cents at my foot and I will give you what you desire. Well, you are creepy. So fuck you. I don't want any tequila. Actually, about that tequila. Ah, God damn it! I'm skint. I have no money to buy tequila. Or do I? No, I don't. Okay, so this is as far as we got. Now we need to head through here, potentially. I have no idea. I'm going to go uh, one-handed. Someone's died here, so... Yep, this isn't looking good. I'm just going to... Oh, oh God! Oh, son of a bitch! Why do I play online? Because shit like this happens. <sighs> that was just a, a, a man. Just a man. Nice job. Weakness lever. This guy. Stay calm and then praise the sun. Think carefully and then give it up. So we got a lever. This guy. That guy clearly tried to drop off the edge. Let's just see. See how he managed to die here. Yep. Just roll off the edge. There's a lever right there. Right there. Maybe pull the lever first. Let's pull this lever and see what we've got ahead of us. What is that? What is going on there? So the bridge is lowering. The bridge is lowering. Now oh, it's made way for the path ahead. Think carefully and then give it up. So it's still that one. These things just catch me off guard. The, the phantoms fr from other people playing at the same time. It really terrifies me when they catch you off guard like that. You think you're alone. Then at the blue, phantom. There's no sun to praise. We've still got fog and cloud occupying the sky. We can see a bit of sun trying to break through the cloud to no avail. Try right. Why? Let me out of here. So I've got more messages like this. Try right. Why do I want to try right? So this guy, this guy's read the message. Nope, just fallen off the edge. Good luck. Thank you. That's very nice of you. I'm going to take it slow. Well, why Why did I think that sprinting would be a good idea here? So we've got a ladder leading down. Is it worth going down the ladder when I can just roll? Ah, we can't get back up. Right, okay then. Well, I'm in over my head, but... What the hell? We live and learn. Harvest Valley. This sounds pleasant. Is that an NPC? Looks like an NPC. Read message, bonfire ahead. Oh yeah, I can see it. Be wary of poison and then bonfire. Well, that's brutal, isn't it? We've got a bonfire, but then we got poison. So we're going to get poison regardless. Be wary of bonfire. Who are you? Are you a traveller? Yes. I'm Cloanne. An ore stone trader. Hey, baby. I travel about collecting rare stones, which I sell to make my living. What's an ore stone? Do you mean like Titanite? Place. But I don't know. I just sort of ended up here. She's got Murray. 
I must have just wandered in. <laughs> but hey, baby. I've been scouting around for rare bits. Oh, don't look at me like that. Many of these stones are quite useful. For instance, certain place. stones are used Beautiful. in smithing. Oh. Oh, now your ears prick up. <laughs> yeah, that was spot on. My ears did prick up. I've extras if you can pay. This is my trade, after all. Yes, please. Please sell me M uh, Titanite shards, please. Let me just see before I talk. Oh, she's only got ten. She's only got ten. Burning a bonfire to strengthen nearby foes. <laughs> I don't think so. I don't think so. Dead again. And soul apiece. But she's got ten. So if I can get ten thousand souls, I can purchase all of these. Go and fully upgrade my uh, knight's armor and great sword, And then we're well on our way to success. So she's got ten. Let, we can't afford any yet. So I let's talk to her. I came here in search of rare stones, but... The place is nothing like I was told. All this poison... You can't get very far inside. Don't just go haplessly wandering about. I'll do what I want, bitch. These stones may look all the same, but to the trained eye, each is unique. Some of them are used to smith weapons and armor, and some unique stones provide special benefits. Some of them are extremely rare and should be used with great thrift. None of the differences are easily spotted, but I've learned quite a lot, really. <laughs> cool. Drang Lake. How is it that I ended up here? It's funny. I can't seem to remember. I've searched every nook and cranny here. I suppose it's time to move on. Oh, please be here when I get back. Perhaps we'll meet again, if we live that long. <laughs> no, please, don't run away. She's going to run away. Okay, right. I, I am not taking... I moved shop. Where to? I'm not taking any risks here, folks. Um, I know I said that I was going to keep all of these soul items, uh, such as the soul of the last giant. Uh, but, I am not going to... I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. You. I'm not gonna lose access to this merchant. She's gonna move shop. I don't know where. We got six thousand for the soul of the last giant. I'm gonna go for the dragon rider. The last giant had a giant club as a weapon. The dragon rider had a halberd as a weapon. Chances are, I'm gonna be able to use these souls to get a, a giant's club and a dragon rider's halberd. I'm not interested in those things, so I'm gonna use the dragon rider soul and the last giant soul. The pursuer had a large sword the skeleton lord had a staff so I'm fuck it I'm just gonna I've used them I've used them I'm not gonna use the the other one but I am gonna purchase all of her titanite shards because I don't know if or when I'm ever gonna see Visit her again, again. we've purchased all the titanite shards she said she's gonna move on visions of a chest like a dream <laughs> try range battle enemy ahead look at this area we've got a ruined harvest valley here it's like Harvest Moon got fucked up by a zombie apocalypse, and then this happened. Nice. Happy with that. How the fuck do I get down there? I'm not not happy with all these bloods. Oh, look at that. We've got a big beast down there. I'm not going down there straight away. Uh, I think I'm going to head to the bonfire. I know I need a poison resist something. Let me go, let me go, let me go. Okay, so I can sprint through. That's all right, then. That's not too bad at all. But I like this bonfire. Like so. Rest of the bonfire, travel to Medulla, the far fire, and I'm gonna finally put more titanite shards into my equipment before I make some progress into this valley. Oh god, take a breath, Wayne. We've got oh I'm so I'm just so relieved. It's genuinely a sigh of relief that we've actually found someone who is What? What? Okay. Well, I've just used two giant souls for nothing because she just spawns right here. She moves on to the bonfire. Oh, well. Well, at least now we know. Greatsword, come here, you beautiful bastard. Three Titanite shards for 260 damage. 
Now I can use a large Titan, I tried to take that 280 damage. Which I fucking will do, damn right. For a B scale in strength. Yes, look at that. Now I need two large Titanite shards to continue to reinforce it. I can fully upgrade my Knight Armour to plus three, which I will. And that's all that we can do for the time being. I can, uh, if I put another large Titanite shard into that, continue to level it up some more. We've got Knight Gauntlets. Uh, knight Leggings. That, that would be a good idea to start putting some... Uh, shards into, but considering I haven't even started with those things yet, uh, is that going to be worth it compared to well, 54 to 59? What am I wearing at the moment? I'm wearing these, aren't I? 71 to 77. Uh, if I put the rest of the Titan shards into these, it's probably going to be a lot better than putting them into these. Maybe. How I don't know. Blacksmith's hammer. What's he done? What's he? What's he just given me? I would just well. Oh wait. Stones. You might be sir. Oh, that's the that's his daughter. So he's just given me a blacksmith hammer, which does what? Is that a weapon? It's a weapon. Fair enough. Let's see what this is all about. But not to any great fake. It was made to shape weapons, not served as one. So does this mean I can use? Uh, upgrade my own weapons at the bonfire, maybe? Item box? No. It means nothing. It means nothing, damn it. Uh, club. 136. So it's a D scale, requires 15 strength. And it's not as good as my club. Okay, well, let's talk to her again. See if she's going to stay oh, here. Fancy meeting you here. Speak up if you need anything at all, alright? Yes, bitch. These stones may look all the same. Oh, she's, Some of them so she's just going to say the same things. Uh, buy item. See where else she's got to sell if she, now she's here. Still nothing. Still nothing. No interest. Right, fine. We need more souls in order to continue to leveling, uh, continue leveling up our armor. I think. Oh, the Harvest Valley is a completely new area. Hmm. Undead Lockaway. We've got another bridge still to cross there. Uh, we've got the Lost Bastille, which we need to make a start on, but we can't get past the Ruined Sentinels. Is that their name? I couldn't make any progress in the uh, No Man's Wharf. The Harvest Valley is a poison area. Oh, God, this is going to be fun, isn't it? This is going to be a lot of fun. Well, let's head to the poison pool, and we might as well sample it, I'm probably going to die anyway. And there's no point me using an effigy when I'm going to die, so... Normal use of a farming tool. Hmm, great scythe. Oh, there's a scythe weapon. I'm, I'm excited. Coffee, you beautiful bastard. Okay, let's explore the poison pool for the first time, shall we? So as long as I sprint through there, we're all good. Be wary of bonfire. Now if I roll down here, I'm clearly going to die, so I'm not going to risk that. But there is a path down to the right. I'm going to stay one-handed for the time being. We've got this uh, skeleton prospecting for all. He's doing a really good job. You keep it up, son. I wish you all the best. I wish you all the best. So this actually leads right down here. This looks very poisonous. That's a big enemy as well. Is that an enemy or an NPC? No, he's got, he's got, there's a little man on top of him. Look at all these items, though. I'm probably going to die if I go down there, though. So let's just uh, have a search around first. Life gem, you're going to come alive. And now you're dead again. Nice one, jackass. So is there a method to getting around here or not? No, it's just pure poison. Fading soul and a titanite shard. I haven't aggroed that guy, so what I'm going to do is see exactly what a fading soul is. Where the fuck was it? Fading soul. There. Used to acquire souls. Okay, so it's a soul item. Look at this. Look at all these things. I think I have some poison resistance somewhere. Yes, but only one. It's not really worth it, is it, when I'm still testing the water, so to speak. I'm just going to run in, gain all of the loot, then move on, because I'm probably going to die anyway. Fading soul again. I'm going to get poisoned. 
Gonna get poisoned. Yep, there we go. Poison. Poison throwing knife. Let's see what these what the rest of this looted. Another fading soul. We've got a fading soul and a smooth and silky stone, so we can visit the crows again. Smooth and silky stone and a Titanite Shard. I'm gonna use an Estus quick. No, I'm not. Okay, well, go fuck yourself, Mori. You died. Yep, no shit. Sherlock. Well, at least we've got two smooth and silky stones, for one. Uh, we've got a few more Titanite Shards from down here. Uh, we died. Let me just throw that one out there. We died. Uh, but a little bit of nice treasure there. See what I mean? It's a good job I didn't use an effigy because, well, I got completely fucked over <laughs> within the opening moments of venturing forth into that poison area. Clearly, we are going to need a lot of poison build-up items or a poison uh, resistant ring. So, we got a path straight on, we got more items in the distance. I'm just going to farm the items first because, well, if I'm going to get fucked, I'm going to get fucked right. We've got a Titanite chunk. We've got a Faden Soul again, so I can use these and see what they give us, if anything. Uh, I'm still poisoned. I'm poisoned again, I should say. It's the correct terminology. I'm going to use an Estus Flask quickly. So we've got another item right here. Well, you are one angry, large son of a bitch. Right, my plan. Run back and get this item. Then potentially run straight past that large thing and see what's through in that cave before we head upwards. Because from what I can gather, uh, the path that I took leading upwards seems to lead up into the zombie harvest moonland. Now that's probably the way onwards anyway. Because by the looks of it, that's probably where we've got to go. We've got to go to zombie harvest moonland. But for now, I am simply going to farm all the treasure. See what's in there, because look at that. We've got more poison right below in that cave. You, sir. And fuck off back to the ground. Thank you for that. So we're going to head up here again. Poison? How? How? Well, obviously, I'm running through a poison cloud. I'm going to get poison. Uh, we'll get my blood stain. I will get a torch. Is that it? Is that really it? Is this thing going to come and get us? No, he's all right. He's all right down there. Uh, let's head straight through. So what we got here. I'm going to use another Estus Flask. We've got a merchant ahead there for try left. Fragment, branch of your and another torch. We've got a merchant ahead, is that correct? Oh, it's that guy again. Am I still poisoned though? That's the thing. Wait, <laughs> we got a floating sword, folks. We got a floating sword. So it's this dwarf guy. So he's no longer in... No man's wolf, he's, that's clearly correct. Considering he's right here with us. Got an item for a raw stone, what the fuck does that do? So, I was going to return to this guy in No Man's Wolf a few times, if you guys remember. I just never got round to it. But he's here. Let's talk to him to see if he's going to turn up in uh, the bonfire as well. Gavlan wants soul. Many, many soul. <laughs> what? With Gavlan. Gavlan. No, he's just saying. He's just what? saying all the stuff that With he said Gavlan. before. What does he sell? Increased poise, ring of giants, poison arrows, and some poison moss. Okay, so it would be good to farm this stuff. But I've still got a long way to go when it comes to actually leveling up my gear. So I'm going to sell all the shit that I've acquired. Thief dagger, fire long sword. I'm, am I ever going to use that? I'm probably never going to use that long sword, broken straight sword, can fuck off as well. Regards, rapier, hand axe, infantry axe, all this stuff can go, magic mace, that's got a B scale in strength, and a C scale with, is that faith? That's still in anyway. Morning star, blacksmith's hammer, uh, maybe I can use that at the bonfire at some point, so I'm going to keep that, I'm not too sure how it works, sort of stuff. A small leather shield can go. Blue wooden shield can go. Where else have I got nice? Night leggings, we don't want to get rid of those. Tattered cloth robe. That's a B scale in physical defense, but it's pretty shit. Hollow soldier. Hollow soldier. So I got a lot of hollow soldier stuff. Uh, this can go as well, yes. So I'm just selling all this stuff for souls, then what I'm going to do is uh, head back to the bonfire again. 
And uh, to the bonfire? Is that what I said? So at least Falcon and stuff can go as well. Uh, I'm going to head back to... Da -da 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 Medulla. Where I will then... What's this? Spell use but reduces hit points. Fallen foe yields more souls. No, there's no sense in getting, the, getting rid of all this stuff. Not until I know what it properly does. Palestine Raw Stone. Changes weapon to raw. Removes additional powers from equipment. Uh, Titanite Slab reinforces equipment. Right, so we got 3,457 souls. Uh, that means that we should be able to get a few more levels. Um, I'm not running all the way back through that poison swamp with this amount of souls. I'm just going to use a homer bone, head back to the last bonfire I rested at, which should be the one in the Harvest Valley. Then I will teleport back to Medulla, speak to the blacksmith, continue to reinforce my equipment. Travel Medulla, the far fire. Yep, continue to reinforce my equipment and then we will uh, try to make some progress through the Harvest Valley and see exactly what is what in this area. Uh, again, this is all new to me. This is as blind as a blind let's play can go. This is me thinking on a whim. Are you, are you actually going to sell us any more shards? Let me just check. Nope, nothing at all. No right, so I'm going to have to make sure that I... Uh, invest wisely in this knight's armor because this is clearly going to be the one for it that keeps us going for a while. Large titanite shard to one two eight. Uh, I can't reinforce my greatsword anymore, can I? No, and I don't have any more large titanite shards. Do you sell anything else, Mr. Blacksmith Man? Then that offend your daughter? No, nothing at all. What's this do? Restore equipment durability. Good for long journeys, but yeah, not interested. Right, I'm going to go for the Knight's Armor plus three. I'm going to invest in that. Because look at that. That's a big increase. That's a large increase. So I'm going to go for that. 128. Uh, I'm going to go for the leggings, I think. I think the leggings is going to be a solid investment. Because then I can actually... Yeah, fuck it. I'm just going to go for it. Uh, 64 to 70. That's still not as good as the Falcon one, but... I've ballsed it up now. Oh no, it's a, it's a better scale, isn't it? Look at that. C scale. So we, even though it's uh, 71 to 77, uh, 71, that one's 70, that it scales more. And I've used all of my Titanite shards now as well. So let's hope. Uh, let's hope that this has been a solid investment. Well, of course it has. It's uh, increasing our survivability by a long shot. 71 plus 19, so that's 70, 80, 89, 90. 93, so it's only an increase of 3, but at least we've got our full knight's gear on the go now, rather than a bit of knight gear, better falcon gear. Look at that, that is, we're doing good for the physical defense side of things right now. Happy with that. 280 plus 98, we're good on the damage front as well. Not bad at all, my friends, not bad at all. And I can't afford anything else from the merchant, so what I'm going to do is... Uh, rest at this bonfire. I'm going to take a break, get myself another coffee. When we return, we will continue to, well, we will begin exploring the Harvest Valley, I should say. So, thank you very much for watching, my friends. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. We've got quite a bit done when it comes to uh, increasing our survivability, making a little bit of progress, and discovering a merchant that actually sells Titanite Shards. So, at long last, we have upgraded our Knight's Armor to increase our survivability tenfold, and increase our damage capabilities as well because we have also began to further progress our greatsword. Awesome stuff. I'm very happy with the progress we have made. Now when we return, we will go ahead and explore the uh, Harvest Valley, the zombie Harvest Moon looking area. Not looking forward to that. It's a poison area. It's probably going to be reminiscent of Blight Town and the poison swamps and all those other areas that used to make me want to kill myself. So yeah, that's going to be fun, isn't it? Lovely stuff. Uh, yep, once again, thank you for watching, my friends. Thank you for being one of my subscribers. If you aren't, then please hit that subscribe button and help out a small YouTuber. This is what I do in my spare time. It really keeps me going. So uh, thank you very much again. All the best, and I shall see you in the next one. Goodbye, my friends.